welcome back to my channel guys um so today we are going to be decluttering my makeup again <laughs> so if you're not familiar with um my channel i am arielle welcome thank you for clicking on this video um i actually filmed a decluttering my makeup video a couple months back before um and i organized it like a couple years ago on my channel i do have like a decluttery series going on um so i wanted to really get my makeup started because i have a lot of it i used to be a makeup artist i still am i still do makeup on people i mean um not with miss rona because no one's really going anywhere but I, I still do makeup on other people not so much on myself like this is really what you would get and if i do go somewhere like i'll do a little bit more on my eyes maybe some lashes that's it so i really want to clean out the drawer because I really want to make that drawer my um more for like my arts and crafts so like for painting and stuff like that so yeah I'm really excited because I have so much stuff in there and I just have it like just in case like girl no I'm not going to use a bright ass red palette that I'm you know like I'm not going to use that um for Halloween like I kept saying I'm going to keep all this stuff but honestly if I do go somewhere for Halloween I will just buy it or like figure something else out like I'm not going to be that just in case person anymore because I end up holding on to stuff that I don't need so hopefully this video will inspire you to clean out any um, old makeup that you have anything that's expired that you don't use that you can get rid of because it's time okay <laughs> so yeah let's get started um, like I said if you are new here thank you so much for clicking on this video please subscribe to my channel I'm really trying to reach a goal here on YouTube and I would really really appreciate all of your support also like this video if you do like decluttering videos because I do have a decluttering series like I said going on um, I also did my bathroom so I do have that coming I just have some things I need to get to keep it organized but yeah I feel like the makeup one is gonna be what you guys want to see because you guys like the other one so I just want to give it to you again and a girl really needs to clean out her makeup like I said so let's get started so I actually want to show you um, what I currently use which is on this table right here I actually um, if you look at my old videos I used to have my vanity here but it was so big and like clunky so I wanted to move it I actually moved it into my computer room um, no sorry I actually the top part was different I have the um, you know the standard IKEA Alexa drawers so I have two of those so I had two here and then I had like a wood piece on top that IKEA sold so I got rid of the wood piece. I actually still have it in the computer room, so we need to get rid of that. And I have one drawer in here, and then I have another drawer in there. So that's the one I want to change because I really want to do some shifts in that room because that room stays messy no matter how many times I clean it. So yeah, this is my computer desk. This is where I edit my videos, mostly if I'm not editing in bed or in the living room. Um, this is where I do my makeup. This is where I study, you know. So uh, I'll show you like my basic makeup for now. Okay, uh, don't mind the laundry over there. That's like a whole nother project. <laughs> but, so this is where I keep all of my basic makeup. So I have some Q-tips right here. And then I usually put my foundation on this so I don't put it on the back of my hand so I don't forget. All of my main brushes that I use, definitely need to clean those. So I'll do that later. Um, and then here is my makeup. It looks a little messy because I just did my makeup. But I have a brow pencil, mascara, I have, this is a waterproof setting powder. I really love it, especially in the summer, and it's translucent. Really good by Urban Decay. Then I have my MAC blush. Um, I announced that I'm going to be cruelty-free, so I haven't bought this blush. Uh, I bought this blush before I was cruelty-free, so once I use this up, I will definitely get um, a non, um, a cruelty-free blush. <laughs> And then I have this. I'm actually going to throw this away because this is so freaking old. This is a liquid highlighter by Becca. And I'm really sad. Um, Becca put out this thing that they're going to be, um, they're not going to be in business anymore. And I have so much Becca because I used to work for them as well as um, Urban Decay. And I love their highlighters. This is a Becca highlighter. I love this. It's so pretty. It's in the shade Topaz. I use this all summer and i started to use it in the winter too just give me a nice glow it's like a bronze glow it's so pretty and i use their bronzer which is this oh i'm like really sad now i have to find another uh brand but yeah that's the bronzer and then i did have another eyeshadow in here but i actually threw it away because it was like when i worked at becca like years ago so it was definitely expired so this is by urban decay this is ydk and it's pretty i have it on today so I'll, let me show you 
it's pretty. I have it on today. Um, still playing with it, but I gotta find, I have to find another eyeshadow because this one's okay, but I'm gonna go through it and see. Uh, then I have a brow gel. And then this is another brow pencil I use. I like this one because it has like a little marker so you can imitate little hairs. So that's why I have two because this, this one is a little bit too dark and this one is like a perfect. So that's why I have two brow pencils. Sharpener. And then I have some, whoop, well that top just came off. <laughs> and then I have some gel eyeliner that's just black from ColourPop. And under here is like my foundation and stuff so i use the milk foundation this one's okay it transfers so much so um this powder really does help a little bit but i'm trying to find something better that doesn't transfer on my clothes even though i like the consistency of this this does transfer so i have this guy then i have some lip balm uh chapstick in here and then this is like my perfume. It's like a meditation, um, meditation. Oh my God, use words. <laughs> this is a manifesting oil that I got in a chakra box with crystals. I put this in here because it's my perfume, like I said. Then I have some hand cream. I'm actually gonna get rid of this because I don't think there's anything in here. Then I have a primer that looks like it needs to <laughs> go. Um, I'm gonna continue to use it because clearly it's my favorite. And I have another one. If you are a makeup person, you know this is an OG. This is LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is a bomb. Love this. And then I just have some, what is this, cuticle oil? Yeah, because you know our hands be dry because of all of the sanitizer we're using. So, whoop. so that is my current makeup. I'm actually going to organize this a little bit and then um, go into the other room and show you the craziness in there. <music> guys here is the drawer full of stuff this is crazy as i showed you all before um but it's just filled with stuff like look i have masks in here um i just have so much stuff i can't even like get to this drawer without this one opening it's just like crazy oh my little fuzzy socks um but yeah like i don't use any of these anymore so we just really got to get it together so yeah, I also have all of these brushes right here um, that I don't even use. So I might be getting rid of some of these. Um, I don't know, it, it's just like, it's so much. Like, look, this one's like even flattened because of how it closed. So I really wanna put my paints in here so I can use this. But yeah, let's get started because this is probably gonna take a really long time. What I'm actually gonna do is if I doubt it, like slightly, I'm just gonna get rid of it because we're not going anywhere. I'm not really doing my makeup like I used to. So, and like I said, if Halloween does come around and I really do need it, I will just go out and get it and figure it out then or borrow it from somebody, you know? Like I have makeup artist friends. Like I really don't, don't need all this makeup. It's just so much clutter. And I have to get my little, like my arts and crafts. I have to fix that because it's all over the place, guys. Like, let me show you. So this is where I keep all of my markers. Um, all of this stuff is just like all over the place. Like this is all my camera stuff. There is my, um, what's it called? My sewing machine. So all just like all of these are um, thread. So I just have to get all this together. So I'm ready to do this. Let's go, let's go. <laughs>
God. I feel like that was so much quicker than I thought it was going to be because I literally just threw everything away. Like, I have so much stuff. Like, so this bag, I'm going to have to transfer it out. But this bag is full of stuff that I'm going to throw away. Um, I have another bag. This is full of stuff that I'm going to see if it, friends want or... Um, yeah, that's it. If friends want it, um, if they don't, then they can throw it away. Um, another bag of garbage. And I have this to donate. Like, I have a bunch of hair scrunchies that I've never used. So hopefully they accept it because they're really clean. I think I've used them, like, once when I had my hair in, like, those twists a couple years ago. And then I have all of these. Um, remember when these clips were, like, in? I'm went crazy and went on Amazon and bought them and I don't even use them anymore. So I'm going to get rid of those too. So I got rid of a lot of palettes. Um, I kept some lip stuff. I'm going to go through everything. I kept some lip stuff. Um, and then I kept some eyelashes as you saw. I have so many empty drawers now. It's crazy. Um, one thing that I'm not going to use, I'm just going to keep it as a collector is this urban decay game of thrones palette. Um, I did use it because I had to use it for work when I worked for Urban Decay, but it's just like a really nice collectible. So I'm just going to keep this. Um, I actually have it out in where I used to film all my makeup videos back in the day. If you're an OG subscriber, you know, <laughs> and it's really cool. It has like a mirror here. And then once you open it, it's the Game of Thrones chair. It's really cool. So I'm definitely going to keep this along with like the brushes that I have in there. So I'm going to move that. Um, but yeah, let's go through everything because it's crazy. And now I just have to like clean the top and I definitely want to go through these brushes. Like I said, because I have actually, let me do that now really quick. Alright, so these are all the brushes that are left and they're just like doubles because I actually have some in there. So um, I just like to keep these extra fluffy ones just in case. I don't know. I might go through it again once I go back in there and see what brushes I have. But this is it. This whole thing was filled. You, you saw, right? Like that's crazy. So I'm going to just put my paints in here. Um, I'm going to do that in another video, but I'm going to put my paints in here, get rid of these or keep these. I don't know. I don't really need these. Um, they're just little beads. I'm probably not going to use them. So I don't know. Maybe I can donate them or something. I, I got to figure it out. But yeah, let's go through all the stuff that I kept. All right. So I have some stuff up here. I'm still going to organize this. Um, it's just like, I just want to show you guys what I got rid of. So let's start with the first drawer. Look at this. Nothing. So I'm going to go through this and obviously clean it and stuff. But yeah, I only have like these darker colors that you see on my hand. I have that because this is really pretty for fall. And I have this other color that I think is really pretty for MAC. Um, this is a really pretty lip stain. It's really it's the same color as that. And then this one. They're all like the same color palette, but those are like the only darker colors I really wear besides nude. And then I have this gold lip gloss. I'm debating on this one. Not sure if I'm going to keep that. Then I have this red lipstick. I always just keep a red lipstick just in case. Um, that's only just in case thing. Okay. <laughs> uh, because you never know. So it's really small too. So I'm going to keep that. Then I have this color. I was debating too. I just think it's really pretty. Mm, I'm gonna get rid of this. Nope, just kidding. Not my, not my style. So I'm gonna see if somebody else wants that. Then I just have a couple of lip liners, like the colors I showed you here, and then brown, of course. These lip glosses I actually might give away because I'm not really a huge lip gloss fan anymore. Um, so let me actually do that. Put it in a giveaway pile, and then this lip liner is too light for me, so I'm gonna give this away as well. I'm gonna put that there. And then I have this, oh God, I'm debating if I, I love this palette though. This palette is really great. Debating if I want to keep this, but this is a really good basic palette. It's all mattes. Then I have this palette. So if you want to add like some shimmer to any look, you can just add it with that one. So I'm actually going to move these down to palettes now. Then I have all of my lashes here. Um, these are unopened. I like to keep these for photo shoots. So I'm going to keep them 
just in case again because you never know because i do model on the side so i'm gonna keep that for that i'm gonna organize it like i said this primer i think i'm gonna get rid of because this primer is it's okay but it was i really use this primer for like um, bright colors and i don't really have those anymore and i can always get another one if i do need it so i'm just gonna throw that away this is the crustiest thing i've ever seen in my life this is so gross this is my lash glue. I'm going to throw it away because I need to get a new one. This is to help you put on lashes. I think I'm going to get rid of this. I don't know why it's like all crusty and gross, but I'm actually going to get rid of that guy. Um, so I have an extra thing of this. I have like three extras of these. Oh, I'm sorry. I have five extra of these. So this is good. I can use it somewhere else in my house. Um, and then I have this by Fenty. This is the glitter bomb. Really pretty. It's like a really pretty silvery glitter so you can put it on your chest if you go out or something and then I also have two other ones so this one is like a really pretty um, gold and then this is a pretty orange color so I'm gonna keep those like I said just for modeling or something or if I go out I'm still debating if I want to keep these because this is a liquid highlight I like to use it sometime in the summer so I might keep this one this is really pretty this is champagne pop so if I do need a little bit of a bright highlight I do want to keep that and then this is another one by Bobbi Brown. I do like this too. Um, this is a little more peachy. So I think I'm just gonna keep these highlights and then I have one more that I showed you guys in there that I'm gonna keep. So I'm gonna keep that. And then I do have some blushes. This blush is by MAC, it's Sweet as Cocoa. This is actually discontinued, so I'm gonna keep this until I run out of it. And this is Peaches, I like to use this in the summer, so I'm gonna keep that as well. I'm just gonna put that in there. And then I have eyeshadow. I'm actually gonna like rearrange everything, but I just wanna show you guys what I decluttered. Um, okay, onto the foundation drawer. So I have makeup remover just in case I need it on hand. Um, this is a corrector that I used to use. Um, I don't really use these anymore, but I like to keep it just in case if I go out or something and like really wanna make myself up. This I mix if it's too, like if the foundation's too dark or something, I'll use this. Um, I already have it in my kit, so I'm debating if I wanna keep it, I'm not sure. So I just kept it there for now. Another one of the waterproof powders that I have. This is um, like a contour stick. It's really a foundation stick, but I use it as a contour stick. So I might keep this for the summer. Um, this is a primer. I don't really like this primer. So we're just gonna get rid of it. <laughs> um, and then I have another one of those all nighter powders. I really like this powder and I used to work for them. So I got it for free, so I kept it. And I think that's it in here. And then I have some other powders. Like, I think I'm going to get rid of some of these. This one is a really nice loose one. So I do want to keep that. And then I have um, the Ben Nye powder that I like to use. This D Slick one, I don't know. I like to blot myself with it, but it makes you look ashy sometimes. So I think I'm just going to get rid of it. Um, yeah, let's get rid of it. And then I have the same foundation that I have in there, but this one's a little bit darker. I actually got this one first and it was too dark and then I got the other one. So this is really good for summer. So I like to keep that. And I think that's all for face up here. Oh, and then I have some other little powders. Um, I like to keep these in my purse if I'm out and in the summer, it, it, like if I get oily or something. So that's why I keep these. Um, this little guy, I don't know why I have this. I might just give this little, this loose one away because the compact one is better if I'm out. So this I'll give away. And then, move you guys. Dude, look at this. I had, this whole thing was full of palettes. I just have the three now. Well, and then the other two. And I'm like even debating if I wanna keep both of these, but this is a really good travel palette. And if I do wanna use color, I always do have it and it's really good. So I'm gonna keep this one. Um, so just in case I wanna be bold one day, I'm not gonna be mad that I got rid of all of my bright colored palettes. Um, this is a really good staple. This is Naked Honey. I love this palette. It's so freaking beautiful. So I'm going to keep that one. This one is the Rustic palette. It's really similar to the Naked one. So that's why I was kind of comparing the two. But they're different, guys. I don't know. Like, they're different. They're really similar, but like, different. I don't know. So I'm going to keep both of them. And this one I actually paid for. And this one is really expensive. So I'm going to keep that one. And then the two palettes that I showed you before. That's crazy that that's all I have now. This is full of palettes, crazy. 
And the last one is empty because I had all of these extra hair stuff that I don't even use anymore. So I'm gonna like keep it empty and use it for something else. So yeah, I'm done. So yeah, that is it. Oh, and the foundations. So I have these foundations for when I go out um, because it, this is waterproof and it stays on really good. And same, I have my summer and I have my winter color. So yeah, oh, and all this stuff that you see over there, that's, um, I keep this blow dryer for when I get my hair cut like once a year, cause she likes my hair straight. So I keep that. And then I have all of these like head scarves that I use that I have one on right now. So I'm gonna keep that too. And then all of the, these shirts I use for my hair. I have like seven of them. I literally only need two. So I got rid of the rest of them. Just gonna throw them away. Cause they're all like dyed a color because of my hair. Cause it's red. So yeah, that is it guys. That's all of my makeup. I'm really excited that I got rid of all that stuff. I feel so much better because, oh, let me actually like look at you so I can talk to you. <laughs> um, I feel so much better because that was just like a weight on me. I'm like, I never really use makeup anymore. This is so, hold on, now I'm straight. Um, I don't really use crazy makeup, not crazy, but like I don't really do those extravagant looks anymore. So I would just have all this makeup sitting in here and now I can actually use this drawer and like organize the stuff behind me because like I said, this room gets so messy and like I have all this stuff I wanna sell on Poshmark right next to me. I have all this stuff and I just, I really wanna get this room together cause this room is like the problem child. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, so what I did is, don't mind the mess, I'm going through everything still. Um, but this is the drawer that's in my bedroom. So I just put all my makeup on the top here. So everything just fits in this drawer. Nothing is anywhere else. Everything is here. And then over at my desk, like I showed you guys before, this is everything. I have my lashes. I have the foundation, the concealer, the uh, palettes, everything. And then the lip stuff is back there. Oh my God. What a freaking difference guys. Like I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulder. Like I said, like I finally feel like I can breathe. I now have all the makeup that I need. I don't need anything else. Like I'm so, so excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it inspired you to get rid of any makeup that you don't use or that it's expired that you need to get rid of that you've been putting off. Now is the time. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate it and give me a nice big thumbs up. And if you wanna see my other makeup decluttering uh, video, I'll definitely leave it down below so you guys can check that out. So I hope you have a great day, evening, week, whatever, life. <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.